It's me, Mario! Hey guys, how's it going? I'm SuperMine322 and welcome to a very cool, calm, collected video of how to run old games on new computers such as this one right here. We start on the desktop screen, partly because I want to show you it from the start, of course, um, but mostly so you can observe the fantastic desktop background. I love it to bits. I think it looks amazing. So, so cute. Anyway, <laughs> um, you can just Google it if you want. But yes, this is a test of a program. Uh, as you can see, inside my disk tray currently is the game Sheep. The game I'm doing a let's play on, not a plug. Um, normally, if I was to load it up from here, and it very nearly did just then, um, it wouldn't work. It, what it would do, it, was, it would open full screen. The cutscenes would work perfectly fine, but like the games and the menus would run at like a really, really low frame rate. And the, the to be fair, the computer would take an absolute shit after it closed. It'd be like, I don't know what to do. Um, but yes, there is a program that you can use to avert it. It's called uh, DXWND, this one right here. I believe, <laughs> I don't know this for certain, but as far as I can tell, it stands for DirectX Windowed. The main purpose of the program is to run old games and old programs in a windowed mode that you wouldn't otherwise be able to do before. So in Sheep, there was no option to run it in windowed mode. This would let you if you want, if you so wanted to. Um, I don't really know why you would. But if you do, um, if you don't, you can turn the windowed mode off. It's fine. Um, but if you do, there it is. So the program is called uh, DXWND. You can get it from here. And I'll put this link here in the description. It's this green download button here, as of time of recording, which is the 13th of January 2016. If this has changed, don't blame me, but for now it's this button here. It just downloads it. And, uh, yeah, you just install it from the thing and off you go. Um, I already have it installed, so we won't bother with that. What we will do is we'll open the program, and there's something else I was going to do. I don't know if there was anything else I was going to do, actually. No, I don't think so. Um, no. That didn't work. Oh. That didn't work. Yes. And that didn't work. Oh no, I was just seeing if I can get the NetJet to go up and running again. To be fair, I wasn't surprised it wouldn't. But this is the menu that comes up. As you can see, Sheep is here. You would normally get uh, some default games here, but I just deleted them all. What we won't do, uh, we won't run this one, we'll make a brand new one to show you how to make one. So what you do is you go to, is it File? No, I think it's Edit. Add, there we go. Go to the Add menu. Wait for it to load up, there we go. Uh, sheep Test, no we're not. Um, path, now you've got to find the path to it. I don't think the computer... Uh, this computer has never liked anything being in this at all. It's always had a huge problem with it. Um, please just excuse me while I find the game. Uh, so there it is. Uh, just copy that in there. Because it launches the same thing. Just leave that blank. I, I don't really know what that does. As far as I know, it doesn't really do anything. Um, otherwise, it would be neither thing. Now... You may be looking at this and be like, oh my god. Um, but don't worry, you don't need any of that. If you if you want to run it in a window, you're all good to go. If not, turn it off. Click OK. Sheep test. Now, the desktop capture should record this. There we go. Um, if not, oh, the volume's on. Let's go. Oh, and I can't change the volume. Well, you're going to hear it twice. Yeah. It works perfectly fine. I hope the desktop catches the problem. If not, I'll just put in some footage of the let's play I'm doing. It works perfectly fine. No problems at all. I can load a game. That's my let's play for. Oh, yeah. I screwed that up, didn't I? I'm going to have to reset the whole game. 
Um, training, everything works perfectly fine. Perfectly fine, perfectly fine, perfectly fine. And that... A little of really is all there is to it. Um, that is that is it. That is it. That's that's all you need. What I will do, um, real quick, is I will do a blind test of this other game I have, Tetris Worlds, that does technically work, um, but it runs at a really low resolution in a weird windowed mode on this computer, which it didn't do on my old one. So, we're going to try that and see if it works. See if it fixes all problems or whether it's just certain ones, because I don't know. So, yes, we might do this bit live. I might be back in a second. <laughs> it depends on whether the computer reads the disc first time around. Which, to be fair... It, ow! Oh, fuck. My finger's really hurting today. I don't know why. Is doubtful. Oh, yeah, she did, I think. Oh, it did. Oh, how brilliant is that? That's, that's a rarity. <laughs> right, okay. So, we add another one. Give it a name Tetris Worlds. I've done videos on this too, but uh, not a proper let's play. Alright, I don't actually know where this is stored. Believe it or not. Um, oh god, I'm probably here. Oh, yeah, yeah, that one. No, actually, that's not a config. <laughs> it always used to be the config before. Um, yeah, okay, there we go. And running window new. So this should work. Okay, quality high. Uh, is that what we need to configure? Does... Ah! I don't think there's anything we need to do there. Okay. Wait. No. Hang on a second. Wait, 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 wait. I, I did that a bit wrong. Uh, kill. Where the hell's edit? Oh, what if I... Uh, yeah, I don't think the config was actually the right thing to launch. It would launch if I press start again, but I just want to launch it from here. In the future, now I know that they can't think. And fail to create. Oh Jesus! Expect X D X seven. Uh, okay, it's got Direct X D X seven. It's my work. Fail to create one. Huh? What's going on? Uh, Direct yeah, it's Direct X seven. Um. Right. Okay. You know what? We're gonna try and sort this out. If if you've got your, if you've got what you wanted, you can leave. But uh, right. Wait. Hang on. We're gonna try and sort this out. I don't know why I closed that back down. Um. We need the config back. Okay. Move the config back up. Uh. Oh. That's not logic at all. Come on. Oh, it does this sometimes as well. Uh, <laughs> not showing this program off too well. Ah, oh, no, 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 don't do that, don't do that, don't do that. Oh! I'm an idiot. Alright, okay. Okay. Looks like it's not... I think it must be a problem with the computer then. 2002! Good grief above. Um... Oh, whoops. <laughs> we forgot to pro uh, do that. Uh, let's not run that in the window. Okay, let's launch the configuration. Let's see what's wrong with it. Um, DirectX 8. Yeah, you're currently ready to play it. Oh, what? That's what? Oh, it didn't fix it. Oh, I could turn the volume down this one. You have the volume of the capture. Um, yeah, that didn't fix it. Runs exactly the same as it did before. Um, 
Yeah, that's really weird. Yeah, it runs at kind of a weird frame rate as well. Hmm, okay then. Right. You know, we're going to try and fix this. Um. Okay. Uh, perhaps I had to launch it from the config. That's what I was going wrong. Um, limit resolution. I don't want to do that. What about it? Okay, so that's fine now. Found the problem with that. Uh, I think what we want to really do is maybe make it a bit bigger. How's that work? Um, let's make that 900. That's <laughs> this is going to completely break it, I know, but uh, let's log in. Yeah, you just had to run it from the thing. No, it didn't do anything. It didn't make any difference. Hmm. That's weird. Uh, I don't have any. Oh, I can minimize it though. <laughs> That's... There must be options. There's no options in this game, is there? Um... Oh, I've become bloody broken at the moment. Oh, there's options. Settings. No, that's just that. No, that's not the options. Are these... Oh, okay. Yeah, I don't think that one could be fixed. Um... Hmm. That's bizarre. Well, whatever. I've got sheep to work. Um, I suppose certain things for certain problems? I don't know. I don't know. But yeah, that's how you run old games on a new PC. Sheep works just fine. And uh, Whatever. Yes, shut up. I was going to launch sheep again to finish, but we haven't got the right disc in the CD player. So with that, from me and my desktop Fox, yes, I want to save that. I didn't actually, did I? Oh, well, whatever. Um, yeah. Bye-bye! Wait! Don't go! Check out my channel. <laughs> what is that? I never, say, I never say it at the end of videos, ever. But, you know what? If my subscriber count goes up, I know why. Um, but yes. Feel free, I might as well keep going. Feel free to like, comment, and subscribe if you so wish. I won't make you. I'll just make you regret it later. Um, but yeah, honestly, this time. Bye bye! Thank you.